I'm Janine Anderson with this afternoon's Kenosha News Minute, sponsored by Go Kenosha. In-person absentee voting at municipal clerk's offices has begun in Wisconsin in advance of the April 5th election. Local races and the state's presidential primary will be on the ballot. An outside expert's report shows the rubberized flooring of the new Kenosha Dream Playground failed safety standards at 14 of the 17 play areas tested. The tests measured impact forces and risks of possible head injuries due to falls from heights of 3 to 10 feet. The three locations that tested within cited safety standards all measured fall heights under 6 feet. Kenosha firefighters were expected to spend hours Monday cleaning out a warehouse after a fire. The fire broke out just after 8 a.m. in the warehouse at Airflow Technology, 4810 70th Avenue in the Kenosha Industrial Park. A Sunday program at the Kenosha Public Museum carried the message that science isn't just for boys. It focused on the historic contributions of women in science and hands-on activities with female scientists. For more, check kenoshanews.com and pick up the Kenosha News.